Um, well, I was released from prison February 2011 into Phoenix Futures to rehab on the Whittle um, for my drug addiction. Um, and com after a completed rehab, um, Phoenix have a football team what take part here every month. So I was able to play for, play for the team then after, after I'd finished my treatments. And then um, been coming here since September now, once a month. So, um, get picked up in the van every every once a month, every Tuesday. And um, yeah, look forward to it. Come here every month. Great banter with the lads. Play football every month. It's good. The club was set up uh, in 2007 uh, when a couple of hostels were playing football against each other. We've seen the benefits of the football, the lads were getting fitted, they were getting out of the hostels, they were, in, um, they were going back quite motivated and stuff. So from that idea came, let's set up a football uh, club. Uh, it was set up in 2007, as I said, um, initially with six teams, and over the years it's developed into 18 teams. The idea is to get the lads out of the hostel, um, tackle boredom, uh, get them away from drugs, drink, uh, just get them active and, and fit. When I came to England, at the first time it was a little bit difficult for me, okay, as a new, as a new citizen in the country, okay, because I've not been to England, it's my first time, okay, and I lived all my life in Nigeria, France, and some other countries, and Egypt, okay, and I'm, I went to the country and they gave me some slips about some housing. From there I got contact with Whitechapel. I played with Whitechapel for a while. From there I got another I got an accommodation through the Whitechapel, which was home ground. From home ground um I, I ended up in my own flat now and I'm happy. We're one of the leading homeless projects in the country because we don't just do football, it's about getting people on courses level one, level two, refereeing courses and all things like that. So because of what we've done here and the support we've had and the success we've had. We've been around the country and we've been asking people to set up other, uh, we've been helping people to set up other projects. Now, now we're from that as well, we uh, do a Christmas present appeal for uh, the local homeless kids, we've done an Easter egg appeal for, his, for his Zoe's Hospice, um, we've uh, done things for the Anthony Walker Foundation and also, you know, like a charity, uh, you know, like a family penalty shootout and all things like that for their charities. So it's not just about us taking, we're there trying to give something back in the community and it's about giving our clients the confidence, self-esteem as well as the physical and mental health back. Um, just um, talking to all the other lads here and we've all been through similar stuff and finding out, I find out things, what they're up to and what they're doing. I want to I wanna go and do a um, fitness instructor course. And a couple of the lads who have met here, I've done, I've done it. So, you know, I find out little things what pe where people are, once they've got clean or they've been homeless, where they're going in their life and it's good. Um, it's just a good, you've got to get a new network of friends as well. What we'd like is a development officer, obviously because it's run voluntary and everyone's work at full-time jobs and stuff, we'd want a recruitive development officer to take the club to the next stage. And that's like, look, at obviously like um, having a women's team, uh, managing the 11 aside team, um, and just like developing the club, more education, training courses for people. Apart from the football matches, home grounds help me benefit with my living skills, giving me accommodation, made sure I'm, I'm, I'm secure for my living. And, you know, they've got me into the football, which is apart from that, they've got me healthy and living skills, independent living skills. And if I wasn't with them, like I said before, I, I don't know what I'd be doing.